father. Uh, we pulled a look. I just... Well, my morning's over at the lodge. Uh, I have a few hours to pack, and the shuttle will be picking me up, taking me to Duluth. And there, I'm going to pick up uh, just uh, one or two sections on the southern SHT, hit my last peak, uh, Eli's Peak, and um, that will actually conclude my trip. Uh, tomorrow, I'll catch a bus back to Omaha, and uh, I'll be done here in Minnesota. But. Um, the stay here was nice, the bed was wonderful, but the shower was incredible. Um, I'm glad it's morning, I'm glad I can pick up again and hit the SHT. I'm excited for the southern section, so that's what's going on today. I made it back to Duluth, uh, checked in. At this point I'm headed down to the south sections where I'm going to summit Eli's Peak. Well, I'm on county roads that are taking me basically from I-35 to what will be Eli's Peak. And uh, while I did not underestimate the mileage, I'm afraid nourishment, the whole travel, everything combined has uh, taken its toll. I'm feeling incredibly exhausted. I will make it. I will finish the seven summits, but uh, I've had to slow up um, and uh, really watch my steps. Um, it's just setting in and uh, I'll be ready to go home tomorrow for sure. I'm officially on the southern section of the SHT. Um, this trail will take me to Eli's Peak, which will complete my Seven Summits Challenge, so I'm almost done with that. Unfortunately, the hike here was almost equivalent to the hike to Canada yesterday. Um, I'll clear at least 14, 16 miles today just by walking. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I just want to fall on my face. I really don't want to hike up Eli's Peak. I won't quit, it's in my mission not to quit, but I'm really pushing my limits, I mean pushing my limits. I have so much ground to cover in the next four hours and I have not a shred, not an ounce, not a pound of, of energy. I have nothing. It's frustrating. My will is lacking. I mean, I'll make it to the top, I promise you that, but... At least I can see it.
This is what it looks like from the top of Eli's Peak. Seven summits, check. Seven summits, check. I did it. I did it, I did it. Now I just have to get down and home. But I did it. This is my last step off the rugged terrain of the SHT. I happen to be on a paved path which overlaps with the SHT, but that doesn't count. Uh, I've completed the seven summits, I made it to Canada, and I've seen a hell of a lot of country up here in the northeast Minnesota. Uh, beautiful country, anybody in their right mind would come up here just to see it. Um, I have a lot to reflect on. I've been very successful at things. I've learned many lessons. Um, however, it's on the top of my mind to get back to my hotel, which is 6.5 miles away. So, I'm going to make it to the highway, hopefully catch a ride. But I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy and I'm proud. Well, Highway 3 wasn't productive, so I'm back on the route that I took to get to Eli's Peak. I probably have about three and a half miles to go, which is totally doable. I'm feeling better. Um, I'm still tired, maybe a little dehydrated, but I'm doing well. Um, when I get to the hotel, I'll clean up, hit the sauna, relax for the rest of the night. Um, I have a relatively early morning, because I don't know how long it'll take me to get to the bus station in West Duluth. But I do have to hike my pack there. Um, and then my bus leaves at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'll make it back to Omaha that night. So, I'm almost home. I'll miss Minnesota. The Superior Hiking Trail was excellent. A lot to reflect on. A lot to reflect on for sure. I am finding that off the highway it's much more peaceful and I'm enjoying that more. It's actually calming me down. Uh, I'm in the shade, it's a cool air, and uh, it's refreshing. I still wish I was at the hotel in the sauna, but uh, this will do for now. So, I'm still just working my way there. Not sure of mileage, I turned the GPS off. Got tired of looking at it. So, I'll make my way. There is one trick that I was taught on the trail. Instead of hiking to a destination, you hike to food. It sounds kind of silly, but we're driven to eat, not necessarily shelter and fire and all that. So, for the last couple miles, hike to food. Hike to food.
I've uh, I finally made it. That in total was probably about 15 miles, um, but a very important hike. Long, strenuous, but very important. So, I'm gonna get my room key, clean up, hit the sauna. That's that. Well, priority one is over. That was to take off my shoes. Priority two is dinner. Priority three might be a beer. I don't know. I'm so tired. But uh, the lesson learned today is uh, no matter how frustrating a day can be, it's important to realize no one knows what a day can yield. And uh, having finished the seven summits is very rewarding. And it's just getting to me now that I did accomplish that. And uh, I'm extremely pleased with myself. Not to be conceited or cocky or anything. It's just set out to do a goal and I did it and it required energy and timing and effort. It's a great feeling and I wish it upon anybody. But uh, for now, I'm not sure. Dinner. Here's my prize dinner for completing the seven summits. A liter of lemonade, power bar, sack of fruit snacks, and one bottle of Beyond. I'm gonna eat, clean up. I'm just gonna lay in a hot tub, so if that suits me, then I'm not going to the sauna. There's, this place is packed anyway. Everybody's going to the pool area, so. Uh, I'd rather be alone and reflect and things like that, so. And I'm exhausted. But time to eat.